Hello, St. Catherine of Siena. Father Andrew and I are here today. We want to reach out to you. Although we're physically separated from you due to the coronavirus, we wanted to connect with you digitally. We wanted to let you know that we're a community. We're a family of faith. We love you. We care about you. And even though we can't be with you physically, we wanted to connect digitally. You know, in the midst of all the anxiety and the confusion and the stress, um, God doesn't want us to run away from him. He doesn't want us to be frustrated with him. I mean, he understands our frustration. He understands our anger. But I think this is a time where we definitely need to be connected through the mystical body, through prayer. So that way we can still remain church, still remain our faith community. So a couple of things, just want to give you some practical updates. Um, the church is going to remain unlocked throughout the day. So if you want a place to come pray, we'd love for you to come stop by the church and spend some time with the Lord. Our Adoration Chapel will also be open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, in order to keep it open, we need people to step up as substitutes in case there's an elderly person who doesn't want to come out during this difficult time. So if you're interested in serving as a substitute, please contact Mary Jandron. Her information's uh, available on the, in the bulletin, and we'll post it online as well. Also, if there's anything you need help with, if there's any physical need or you need help getting groceries or medicine, something like that, if we can help, we would, we'd love to. Please call the parish office, 835-9343, 835-9343. Also, so, since Masses are suspended publicly, Father Andrew and I will be celebrating uh, private daily Masses. We'll be praying for you and for your intentions. If you want to participate in the Mass uh, digitally, you can log on to thedailymass.com, thedailymass.com, 11 a.m. on Sundays, 12 noon weekdays. One thing that we want to do is provide a message every day of hope for you, of hope and peace and confidence in the Lord. Um, and so every day, Father Tim and I will flip-flop back and forth with different videos. And as we were praying about this video today, our first connection with you uh, virtually, this verse came out. It's 1 Peter 5, verse 7. Cast all your anxieties on him, for he cares about you. Cast all your anxieties on him. He cares about you. Um, I think that's really important that we hear God letting us, giving us that kind of permission, that we would throw at him all of the stress, all of the frustration, all of the anger, the questions, the confusion, um, and also the joys of some of these moments, these little uh, times where we get to smile, but that we would cast everything upon him because he does care for us, and he wants to hear uh, our, our voices. He wants to hear our prayers and grow in relationship during this time. So that's what we're going to do daily is we're gonna cast those concerns, those things that we're hearing from different parishioners, we're gonna address some of those and speak to how God may be working inside of these difficulties. The government's encouraging us to practice social distancing. While that's awesome, that's great, helps protect us from the virus, I wanna encourage you to not distance yourself from the Lord. Lean into him this time, and we will be praying for you. We invite you to pray for us. Especially we call upon the intercession of St. Patrick on his feast day today. In the same way that he protected Ireland many years ago, we ask him to protect our country and the entire world. We also pray through the intercession of our own patron saint, St. Catherine of Siena, and our Blessed Mother to protect us. God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow.